Alright, so, if you want to watch a movie and you can't be bothered holding your phone like like this, there's a hack you can do. So what you do is you take a vomit bag from the seat, you put it, you take your phone case off, you put it like, like that, you put your phone in there, and you open your tray table, Close it in, close the tape. There you go, snuck away. What are you watching? Sky surfers. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another episode. Just gotten off Vietnam Airlines and we are here in Hanoi. Hello guys, we just got off our plane and we are catching a big sleeper bus. Alright, this is our sleeper yeah. bus. Just got on, this is going to take us all the way to Sapa. So we've been assigned a cabin each. These guys are super excited. Hey, so this is you, hey? Which side are you on? Oh, look at this. Brother. So what do we got? We got a screen. You get chocolate. Look. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not chocolate. It's a white. You like a white. Water. This is not chocolate. Someone already ate mine. It's not a chocolate. Someone ate my chocolate. How cool. Where are you? What do you reckon? Dude, this is awesome. I got my window. I got like, oh, I can change the TV. I've got a TV. How good, sis? Getting a massage. Back, neck, legs. About to watch a movie. Maybe I'll fall asleep. Hopefully, I have a seven-hour bus ride up to Sapa. And maybe not. Maybe I'll just stay up and do some work because it's free Wi-Fi. See you when we get there. Let's check in and see what these kids are doing. They're going in there. Pretty good. Pretty good. Loving it. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. It's 1 a.m. and we've just had a quick stop and these kids are still awake. I live in close to being tired. Me too. Guys are way too excited. We're heading to Sapa. So that's like a six or a five hour drive. So we're just heading there now. We're gonna we go just to sleep. stop and I'm gonna go to sleep. Go. Good night. Good morning from Sapa everybody. We had a nice coffee. Check out our stunning view of these mountains. Miss your coffee. Thank you, madam. <laughs> Definitely need this one. It's Definitely actually nearly do. midday. But yeah. the sleeper bus turns out it's not as comfortable as it looks, especially if you're over six foot like me. Um, we only slept a couple of hours, so we got and checked into a hotel and pretty much slept straight away. And now that we're up, um, it's nearly midday. But Cheers. Having Cheers. a coffee at in front of this beautiful scenery. I'll give you guys a room to a scene. All worth it. Stunning. Stunning. So we've just come to check out the main little hub of Sapa. And it's just surrounded by these mountains. It's so pretty. So we're gonna find some lunch since we haven't eaten since like, I don't know, early dinner last night and it's now one o'clock the next day. So find some lunch and have a bit of a reset and check out this beautiful village. It seriously, it feels like we're in another country, like yeah. Mongolia or Nepal or something. It just feels so different yeah, to all the rest different. of Vietnam that we've just seen. Like, so different. It's so cool. Yeah. How cool are all these restaurants and cafes? Yeah, there's so like many different ones. Real cool, so different. So we just found this cute little place for lunch. It's got a pretty view. Kids are just craving some Western food. There's only so much Vietnamese you can eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I think. So when they just want chips and pizzas, they can get it. Margarita pizza. Wow. Oh. Oh, look at that. Dude. How long has it been since we've had pizza, guys? 
Oh my! Oh, like a year. <laughs> like way too long. A year and wow. Look at that cheese pizza. So we've just arrived at this funicular and it's going to take us up to Frangipan Mountain. It's What's gonna... a funicular? It's like a tram slash train slash monorail slash bus <laughs> slash. <laughs> so it looks pretty cool. The major tourist attraction of Sapa is Mount Fantipan, rising 3,147 metres above sea level. This iconic peak is the highest point in Vietnam and Indochina. Now, what is a funicular? A funicular is a type of mountainside railway system that moves via cables. We started our adventure to the summit, boarding this cable train at the Hyong Lian Station. The steep five minute ride takes you through some amazing scenery to the Sun World Fancy Pan Station, where you then hop on Asia's tallest and longest cable cart system to make your way to the top. you guys can see but that's the cable car there and that's where we're going up beyond those mountains <laughs> up to Ramsey Pan Mountain. Did you know that this cable car holds the Guinness World Record for the steepest climb through a mountain? Yeah. <laughs> so we've just felt the wind oh, pick up and it's starting to sway. Degrees. It's getting so windy because we are so high. It's going to be a bit of hard work because the oxygen levels here are a lot lower than at uh, sea level. So at sea level oxygen is at 20%, whereas up here it's about 13.5%. So we're already struggling on uh, one set of steps we went up, we're already struggling. So And the air is so cold, it's freezing. Super cold, it's probably about 3 to 4 degrees at the moment. So yeah, we'll see you up there.
goes up, must come down, right? Okay guys, we just finished for the day and we're getting back on the peninsula to go home. And that's a wrap. How'd you enjoy the day? Good, it was really fun and really hard. Yeah. It was very fun. How'd you feel climbing all the steps? Tired. How many steps do you think that you climbed all together? Um, Have a guess. 6,000. <laughs> 6,000. Check out the views coming down. Apparently the trick is to either do this first thing in the morning or the very last um, thing in the afternoon. Otherwise you're going to deal with the crowds like what we had because we left right in the middle of the day. So that's the trick. But anyway, how beautiful is the station where you catch the funicular? Just about to catch the sleeper bus back to Hanoi. Back on the bus back to Hanoi. On the exact same. Good thing about um, getting this during the day instead of at night is because you can just look out the window and you can see all the beautiful scenery as you're passing and the villages and stuff. So it's been really nice. Anyway, so on this bus you get a so you've got your massage controller there because it's a massage seat. And then you've got your recliners here, you get a refresher towel, a water, and then you've got your TV screen and your remotes. And most importantly, I should also mention that this was, this averages around $70 return um, per person AUD from Hanoi to Sapa. And it's about a six hour journey. It's all different types of um, buses that you can catch. We did get the luxury one. I think this is the best of the best. So there's all different types of buses, different classes. So they'll obviously be a little bit cheaper, um, but we did splurge on this and opt for luxury for the kids, considering it was six hours, just to make it as cruisy as possible. So no one complains and so far, so good. The next day. Good morning, it's surprise day, so it's time to wake up these lazy kids. Guys, time to get up. Hey. Wakey, wakey. River cruise there. <laughs> All right, so we've just arrived at the terminal where we're going to go down and catch this beautiful boat. So we are on the Hera Cruises. Um, and the boys obviously know we're going on a boat, but they don't actually know that we're sleeping on it. So that's going to be the big surprise when we get down there and we see our cabin and stuff and they can see where they're staying. So, so excited to surprise them with it.
Wow, you got your own private balcony out here. And you got your own exercise bike. Wow, it's awesome. How cool is that, guys? on the ship we were treated to a five course lunch now with three growing boys that eat like champions you can imagine how excited they were to be fine dining like this the food was amazing so delicious and well presented and the portion sizes were so generous safe to say our bellies were full and we were ready to start the day's activities the weather's pretty good how's the weather Juice, I'll juice. Yeah. I'll teach you how to drink it as well. You can say, yeah. 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 She's trying to show me the necklace. How's she, how's she got? She's, got fish. she's stalking us. She's got noodles, she's got spicy ramen. Got, what's that? What's she showing Clans. us? Pearl, pearl shells. Mm. Trying to sell stuff. How much? 200 for five. These guys come beside the big boats to try and sell beer cheaper. 200 for five, all right? So, Hello. You're not gonna be able I'm going to give her 200 because I'm not sure she's going to give me my chance. Hey. Five beer? How, how long beer? How long? Yeah, that's a good beer. 
So look at their technique. Okay. Yeah. To get Five. the beer to you. Oh my god. They are determined, aren't they? Wow. How's this for a, how's this for a market? Thank you. Okay, She's got chips, chocolates, waters, alcohol, soft drink. Oh my god, she's even got jewelry. And cold too, the beers are cold. <laughs> How many did you not get? So she knows, right, she's got a big market because beer in Vietnam is really cheap. Like when you go out and eat at restaurants and on the street, you generally pay about twenty thousand dong a beer, which is about a dollar thirty, dollar sixty, maybe uh, two dollars maximum on board this vessel obviously it's going to be really expensive so one beer is four to six us dollars each so uh they know they know the guests they don't want to pay you know four to six dollars us for one beer. that's ridiculous so but she's got me yeah. there is happy hour though soon and it's two for one so that's where i come in i want a cocktail Oh, it's so nice and warm in here. So we've had the heater on. It's just so cozy. I'm too cold. <sighs> so good. All right, so we've got our cooking class now and happy hour. So let's go up and check out and see what everyone's doing. That is the best cake I've actually ever eaten in my life. Really? really? Oh. These kids are loving it. They're having a field day. doing some squid fishing. I need mean, now I love fishing. You do, you love fishing. So these guys are doing a bit of fishing. Meanwhile, Tyler and Eli have opted out from fishing and look at what they've decided to do instead. They're getting a nice herbal foot bath. After I wanted to do some karaoke. And then karaoke next. How's it feel? Good. Is it nice and warm? At the start it was boiling, like I put my feet in there. Yeah. But you get, yeah. you get used to it now, it's not, you want hold it. Is it nice and relaxing? Yeah. 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 You look very relaxed. You should do it. You should do it. You can do it right now. Alright, I'm on actually. So I've been getting my foot bath and I'm looking for Eli. And here he is. What are you doing, Eli? Karaoke. Karaoke? <laughs> Trying to find a song? Ollie and Tyler and Giles are fishing. So this is where I find this guy. Your love is all I own 
Everybody. We're on day two of this beautiful cruise. We're just gonna go up and get some breakfast. Oh, so delicious. Are you getting Holly? Um, something that's hard to pick up. <laughs> Doing some cereal. Wow, this looks amazing. Some breakfast views. Wow. So we've come back to the room to finish our brekkie and coffee. Check out this for review. It doesn't get much better. You guys need to try Harlem Bay. And that's a wrap from Hera Cruises. We're on our way back now. And then we're gonna hop back in our bus and go back to Hanoi. The boat's been beautiful. It's just been so luxurious. Food's been incredible. The rooms have been amazing. The kids have loved every second. The staff and crew have been really yeah, friendly. Yeah, um, really, really friendly. Yeah, um, really good service. The karaoke last night was a highlight for the kids. They loved it so much. It's just such a shame because the weather obviously has been so cold. I think it's, you can imagine what this place would be like in the peak of summer when you can swim and I've seen, you know, people jumping off the boats and yeah. just really enjoying the water and, and the beauty for what it is. You can really imagine what it would be like in summertime. So definitely a hot tip if you plan on coming and doing a Halon cruise, which we definitely, definitely recommend. Um, definitely wait and do it in summer. Do you reckon of this cruise, man? It was really good. I loved it. I loved the, the meals and all the activities we did during the day. My favourite part about this cruise is one, the karaoke, and two, all the courses of food in the buffet. I really liked all of them, but I really liked everything on the boat. My favourite part of the cruise was the squid fishing um, and the karaoke. Yeah, you were singing really loud last night. Now that we know I got to sleep. Bye! day three of Hanoi and we've just arrived at the iconic train street where the cafes are literally right beside the train track. Surely the only place in the world that is so close to train tracks. Let me just show you properly. So you literally sit all along here in the cafes and the train just goes straight past. So we've got about 20 minutes to kill until our train comes. I'm just going to get a bite to eat and see how this thing goes. Are you a bit concerned about a train passing right there? Yep, we're a bit close. <laughs> you are a bit close. Just some small observations while we're sitting here having some lunch. You can actually hang your clothes from the car line. <laughs>
Next day. Back to the crazy streets of the city. Trying to cross these roads again. In case you didn't notice, we all wore jackets because we were really cold. You look like you're going in the snow. So we've just arrived at the Note Cafe and these boys are writing some notes. So basically it's a cafe that everyone comes to on their travels Would you write this? and they write notes and they stick them onto the wall. Have a look at this. It's full. I wrote subscribe to Sky Surfers. Oh, that's a good note. I wrote I had no room to put my note. <laughs> Even the tables, the chairs. How cool is that? I'm looking for a blank spot so I don't cover somebody else's. It's like eye level. Oh, there's a free one right there. Can I open that window to your car? Right there. Where? There. Okay. You want to cover someone? Yeah, there. Be happy tomorrow is not promised. Guys, there we go. little note from me. This is our last night in Hanoi until we go to Malaysia tomorrow morning. We're just at a restaurant for dinner getting our very last bow for Vietnam. So when you get your pho, your soups, everywhere you go, you get like a little bit of garlic juice here. Yeah? Some fresh Ooh. garlic and chili infused. And then you get your chili oil, a little bit of that. And then fresh lime. Oops, Just make sure you get out the pips that have dropped in there. It's not very good. And that's it. And it's delicious. All right, and that's a wrap for Hanoi. We're just in reception from the apartment we're staying in, waiting for our grab to arrive to take us to the airport because we're going to... Malaysia! See you later, Vietnam. That's it, how you like? Done, done and dusted, Vietnam. Can't wait to get to the heat in Malaysia. Yeah, we're over the cold, so it'll be so nice to have some warmth and thaw out. Checking in with all our luggage. Hey babe, what do you not need to get into Malaysia? A visa. Thank you everybody for watching our part three Vietnam travel, and we'll see you in Malaysia.